Hello, dear students, and welcome to our new lesson for English learners in grade 8. My name is Sanya Mozinovich, and I will be your English teacher today. Today, we are going to learn about fake news. The learning outcomes for today's lesson are on this slide. As you can see, in today's lesson, you will be learning about fake news, and by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to talk about fake news using the passive voice. You will be able to interpret the information and to critically evaluate your own and other people's opinions and values. For today's lesson, you will need a device with the internet connection, your QR code scanner, your notebook, and if you have all you need, you are ready for today's lesson. Let's start. We will start today's lesson by opening a notebook. The first task is your entry ticket. In your notebook, you will write answers to the questions that you can see on this slide. What do you understand by fake news? Think and write your answer. Where are the fake news usually found? What are the signals that help you spot fake news? Can you list signals? List as many as come to your mind. Write in your notebook. When you have finished writing, it's time to move on with this lesson. Do you know these words? Fake news, misinformation, hoax, advertising, viral, source, legitimate, satire, bias, fact check. There are more in this lesson. And if you are not sure you know them all, please study the vocabulary set that you can find if you scan the code on this slide or use the link. Bitly slash Quizlet fake. Study the vocabulary set and then you will be ready for the rest of this lesson. When you have studied the vocabulary set, it's time to check how much you have learned. Do you know the words for all these definitions that you can see on the left hand side of the slide? Read carefully and write the definitions in your notebook. Check them using the Quizlet set. If you're not sure how to pronounce, how to spell, or what the meaning is of various words, go back to the Quizlet set and study the words. You can see the QR codes to scan, or you can go back to the slide before to see the link. When you have studied the words and you are sure you have learned all the words you need to talk or to write about fake news, it's time to watch the video. The video is How to Spot Fake News by factcheck.org. And the first slide of the video says, a lot of these viral claims aren't news at all, but what are they? Can you finish the sentence in your notebook? Please copy the words from the slide and finish the sentence in your notebook. Then watch the video to check. You can watch the video if you use the link that you can see on this slide. Fact check. Now, bit.ly slash fact check now, or you can just scan the code in the middle of this slide. The questions after watching the video for you are What is the video about? Can you answer in one sentence? Is the video helpful for you? And how? Think about why this video could be helpful for you. After you have watched the video for the first time and answered the first two questions, it's time to watch again. Can you please watch again and put the strategies 
in the order in which they are mentioned. In the video, they mention that it's, it's, it's very important to check who the author of the news is, to read beyond the headline, consider the source of the information, to support your own biases, consult the experts, check if the piece of information is some, some kind of joke, satire maybe, and check the date. Please watch the video once again and put all these strategies in the order in which they are mentioned in the video. Here is the correct order. First, you consider the source. Then you read the beyond the headline, check the author, what's the support, the date, if that's kind of a joke, your own biases, and finally, the experts, fact checkers. Again, there is a QR code to scan and the link if you need to watch again. Here are the strategies one by one and they help you shield yourself from fake news if you have already written the strategies in your notebook, please add the information that will help you define the strategies and use them to shield yourself from fake news. If you haven't, please copy the words first and then name the strategy. For strategy number one, it's important to check that the source is familiar, legitimate, reliable. The strategy number one is consider the source of the news. Let's do the same for strategy number two. When you see a provocative headline and think if it's a legitimate news story or just an effort to be satirical, when you see some shocking information, when you think who it draws attention to, and if you can attribute the quote to a legitimate source, what is the strategy number two? Read beyond the headline. Strategy number three. The keywords are made up, credited to, the byline, and the strategy number three is check the author. Strategy number four. Cite official sources, official sounding sources sometime. Look into it, the topic. Back up the claim. What is the strategy number four? Check the support. What is the support? Strategy number five. You have to check the publication date. Maybe it's a distortion of real event or events, mendacious claim, a twist. Are there any copyright infringements? What is the strategy number five? Sometimes they take a legitimate story and twist what it says, and you have to check it. Strategy number six. Satire has been designed to encourage clicks and to generate money through ad revenue. Is there some kind of joke here? Satire? Funny? Debatable forms of satire? You have to check for number strategy number six. And for strategy number seven, you have to check your own biases. A confirmation bias uh, is the bias that leads people to put more stock in information that confirms their own beliefs. So it's very important to check it out. A simple test is to check other stories posted to the same website. Strategy number eight is to consult the experts. There are fact checkers. They fact check. 
survivor claims that pop up in your social media news feed. And it's really important to use them if you are not sure if you are, what you are reading is fake news and not real, reliable news. Now that you have checked the strategies, and now that you have thought about what you usually read and how you usually think about the news that, that pop up in your social media news feed, it's time to think about how reliable this video is. Can you ask yourself eight questions from this infographic? and ask these eight questions about the video that you have just seen. What is the source of this video? Can you read beyond the headline? Who is the author? Are there any supporting sources? Can you find a date? Is it a joke? Uh, can you check your own biases? And can you ask? experts. What other questions could you ask yourself about the video to explain if the video is or is not reliable? And how about this story? This story comes from Sveri.com Breaking News Meme Generator. Can you read this headline and the ticket text with a critical eye and say if this is a genuine news story or maybe fake news? Can you use the strategies from previous exercise? The title, the headline says Schools Without Teachers and the ticket text All teachers will be replaced by robots. Students will be taught by the robots only. The grammar focus of this lesson is on distinguishing between the passive and the active use of the verbs. In the previous news story, the focus was on the teachers and the students, and both the teachers and the students were um, the passive subjects. The story said, the teachers will be replaced by robots and the students will be taught by robots. So the door of the activity in both sentences were the robots. But we were not talking about the robots. We were talking about the teachers and the students. And talking about the teachers and the students and what will be done to them needs the use of the passive voice, not the active. We only mention the robots. In the last part of the sentence, introduced by by, so we say all the teachers will be replaced by robots and the students will be taught by robots. Učitelje će zamijeniti roboti, učenike će poučavati roboti. We need the passive voice in both cases. If you want to make these sentences negative, we just add a not. All teachers will not be replaced by robots. The students will not be taught by robots. Will not can be shortened as won't. All teachers won't be replaced. All students won't be taught. Or you can ask a question. Will all teachers be replaced? Yes, they will. No, they won't. Will all students be, be taught? Yes, they will. No, they won't. Let's practice. Let's practice making the sentences about the future with the passive verbs. 
a lot of fake news stories use the verb publish. A lot of people use the verb affect. Paper books replace. Printed books read. Learning about computers make. Here are the correct sentences. A lot of fake stories, news stories will be published. Will a lot of people be affected? Paper books will not be replaced. Printed books will be read. Will learning about computers be made compulsory? Breaking news story. Create your own breaking news alert. Can you please try in your notebook and create a meme for your own news story about something interesting that will happen in the future? Write two sentences for the ticker text and use the passive voice. If it's a fake story, remember it's only for fun and it's not meant to be offensive. When you write it, exchange your story with your classmates and discuss your own and other people's stories. Let's create a poster. Use the information from this lesson to teach your colleagues, your classmates, how to deal with the news responsibly and how to spot fake news. Create your own digital or paper poster and present it with a short talk. For your poster presentation, consider this rubric. When creating your poster, try to create a tidy, creative poster with all the details arranged in a log logical composition. Try to make a presentation of learning from this lesson. Think about your pronunciation and think about your critical thinking skills, both in your poster and your talk. Be sure to fact check and to be respectful and interpret your information well. The optional task for this lesson is to play the game of fictitious. The game of fictitious is a game in which you can check how well you can spot fake news. You can scan the game or you can use the link to access the game playfact bit.ly slash playfact. Fictitious. Your final activity in this lesson is your 3 to 1 exit ticket. For your exit ticket, you will write answers in a notebook. First, you will read again your entry ticket text and you will think, what have you learned in this unit, in this lesson? Can you write three sentences with new facts that you know now and you didn't know at the beginning of this lesson? Two. Can you write two new words that you have learned in this lesson? One, can you write one sentence using the verb in uh, the passive voice about fake news? Plus, can you write one idea for further research, something you would, lo you would like to learn more about? When you finish, writing your sentences for your exit ticket. That's the end of today's lesson. I hope you have learned something new and you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye until our next lesson.